everyone, happy day 323. Today being Monday, it's time to take out our weekly evaluations and ask ourselves the four questions. One, did my plan work for me? Two, what needs to be adjusted this week? Three, how do I feel? And four, what is a positive from last week? For me, one, my plan worked for a couple of the days, but because it's still summer, Billy having a dentist appointment and a funeral, I had to be flexible. Two, I think today is the only day this week I won't be able to make it to Mass. Three, I feel good but stressed. These are the final days before school starts and I always get a little squirrely. And four, a positive from last week would have to be learning to unite myself with my husband as God wants me to be. I would encourage all of you out there to take a look at last week and ask yourselves the four questions. Two years ago, my husband and I became godparents to my beautiful friend Amanda's daughter. Today is the anniversary of her baptism. I will never forget the day Amanda asked me. I was on a run in my neighborhood and I saw a call coming in from her. I decided to answer and take the opportunity to take a quick break. As I walked and tried to catch my breath, Amanda asked me if Will and I would be available later and if she and her husband could come over to talk to us about something. I'm not sure about you, but that doesn't work with me. I am not a surprise person. Her question was unacceptable. I needed answers. What is going on, I demanded as I huffed and puffed. After about two minutes of me not taking, we can chat about this later as a reasonable answer, she finally gave in. Patrick and I would like to know if you and Will would be godparents to Gianna, she asked. Talk about being floored. I had a thousand scenarios running through my brain, but that question she asked me wasn't one of them. I stopped dead in my tracks and began to cry and cry and cry. I remember thinking that my neighbors were going to think there had been a death in my family. Never in my life had anyone offered me such a blessing. For years, I was the girl you didn't want around your kids. And now someone was asking me, me, this girl right here to assist them in developing a strong faith in their daughter. The thought of it still brings tears to my eyes. From that day on, I made it my mission to do my job to the absolute best of my ability. They do not live right around the corner anymore, but that doesn't mean that I cannot be there for her every day by loving her and in my opinion, most importantly, by praying for her. Thank you, Amanda, for giving me the opportunity to be the godmother of your baby girl. I promise to continue to be there always and to be her prayer warrior. I pray for her safety, her life, her choices, her path, her journey, and her faith. I hope all of you out there have a blessed day 232. Please know that I am praying for you always, and I will see you tomorrow.